Okay, so everything so far has been, you're just your back to the phone there, bro. From half guard, my knees are above Tyrone's knees. Whether it's um, from this position with the cross face underhook, my knees are above his knees, the triangle is above his knees. Whether it's from a knee shield, again, from a, from a position, my knees are above his, his knees. Even if I went into a leech hook, my knees are above his knees, okay? Because I've got much control of his leg. So 90% of the time, you're always going to have your knees above his knees. But on some occasions, uh, and especially in this occasion, um, we're going to have our knees below his knee. Um, this is called the lower leg shift. Probably taught it before on, in the club as the stomp. So again, from our position, when I kick up and I win that underhook, I have the tight waist grip and then I make the scoop grip. The, the, the good thing about having control of Tyrone's um, knees between my legs is it's very hard for him to knee slice. Um, just slide this way, bro. If Tyrone actually got his knee, which will be a goal of his, through, and now my junction, my knees are below his knee. Okay. He can win the underhook, and now from there, watch what he does. He can pull out the ass, exactly. He didn't show him that, but he used jiu-jitsu. He used that other leg to push on my leg to free his knee. Take a back step. So say we're here. Okay. I'm going to kick up. I'm going to win that tight wee scrip. I'm going to put in my leech hook. Notice the way my knees are above his knee. And then I make the scoop grip, and then I just stomp my right leg through. So now, Tyrone's knee, or my knees are below Tyrone's knee. Right. Now the good thing about this is, if Tyrone now tried to use his um, left foot, my scoop grip has stopped that. Okay. And the beauty about this is, from this position, I have a free leg. Notice the way Tyrone's right foot is parallel to his left foot. When I start to bring my knees this way, notice the way I'm actually getting his feet in line. Um, just give me up there one second. When I, when I say that, because sometimes that can be difficult to understand. From, from Tyrone's perspective, my two feet are parallel. All right? If he goes to this lower leg shift, he can start to bring my right foot towards my left foot. Just compromising my base. If you think of um, me being on two train tracks, both my knees, I've got stability. But any time I move to one train track, I am much less stable, which means it's going to be so much easier to sweep the person. So from our position, from our half guard, I'm going to kick <coughs> up. Notice the way we're using that pendulum movement. Yeah, that we just did in the in the, the movement drills. So I'm here, with my first move without exhausting my core. And now from this position, I'll switch to the leech hook. My knees are above his knees, but now from here I'm gonna extend my right leg. We, we would have called this the stomp in the club, as I made a scooping grip coming end up here. Notice the way my knees um, are below Tyrone's knee, just shuffle. So your back's towards the camera now. All right. Notice the space. Tyrone's two knees are on two train tracks. Okay. This is my interpretation of it anyway. I'm using my leech hook to curl up. And now what happens with my right leg? It actually brings Tyrone's knees underneath each other. Take a back a step. And what is the movement that I'm doing? It's this reverse shrimp. Watch, I put the toes of my mat, my feet on the mat and I physically move my hips under Tyrone's. So I'm doing this, that's doing two things. One, my hips are under his, which means I can sweep him easier. And two, I'm putting, I'm putting both his knees under one train track. I'm bringing his right foot towards his left foot. So now we end up here. Okay, so now I've reverse shrimped from this position. I'm on my right side. I'm turning on to my left side, planting my right foot on the mat, and now I slide. And to come up on top. 
Notice the way I still have that lead shook in. Because if I can shrimp, Tyrone can shrimp, yes. What does he want to do? To escape, if I wasn't controlling that, he's going to shrimp out. Okay, so I keep control with the lead hook until my hand comes out. And now from there, I take out the cassava hook and replace it with my right knee. Okay, let's look at that again. So that is our lower leg shift. So from our knee shield half guard, okay, we're going to use this. So we're using three of those movements that we just did um, in the previous vid. So rather than kick, or rather than just coming up and using my core, when I kick up, I'm penduling in my leg down to win that tight waist grip. When I switch to the leech hook. My knees are above his knees, but when I go for that scoop grip, I'm actually punching my right leg through using my lead hook. Now, from here, my bottom leg, I put the toes on the mat, and I shrimp from being on my right side to flat on my back. That gets my hips under Tyrone's, but it also brings his knees in the line. I might do that several times. Okay. Notice the way when I do that, Rome's body's turning up the way. Okay. Now I'd actually take him over, I bring my right foot towards the mat, and I do a sliding shrimp outside foot, shrimps from being flat on the back to on my left side. Okay, once I'm here, I keep in the lead hook. Arm that was between the legs, that scoop grip comes out, and I control his far hip. And now from there, I just put weight on them, take out my lead shook, and replace it with my right knee. Just another angle on that. And just on the side here is perfect, bro. So, from our position, to here. Notice the way Tyrone, I have a, he hasn't put a wizard on me, so this is just a drill. If there's no wizard on me, uh, here, boom, when I get to this position, I can take his back. You know, I, I, anytime I'm here and there's no wizard on me, bosh, I'm out the back door and I can take his back. But it's just a drill, it's just a drill. I want to own basing with his hands on the mat, you know, to get better at this sweep because in reality, he's probably going to have a wizard on, the sweep's going to be even easier. So once we're in our position here, okay, what's what I'm doing with my legs. So. Once I have that lower leg shift, and now my knees are below his knees, I have a free leg. So I'm just going to reverse shrimp. I put my toes on the mat. Notice the way I'm on my right side. As I shrimp towards my right, my hips are going on the thrones, but also I'm bringing his knees in line. So they're actually on one train track. If I feel I haven't got there, I just do it again. Notice the way Tyrone, Tyrone's body's turning. Right, as he loses base, we end up here. Now I'm flat on my back. I'm going to use the second shrimp movement, the sliding shrimp. I just plant my right foot on the mat and shrimp the other way. To put Tyrone down, okay? Once I'm here, the scoop grip switches. Far hip. And then I replace my left foot with my right. So I'm controlling his hips. And then I can start to move up his body and get head control. So that is Donahue's lower leg shift. 